Hey, welcome back to the Jack Homestead. Chris here. Hey, uh, she's back. I got my tractor back uh, from Gleason's uh, Motorsports, I think it's called, down in uh, Halstead, Pennsylvania. Uh, got to give them a big shout out. Um, they fixed my mower deck, rebuilt all that uh, from the issues that I had in the summer. Uh, I'm sure you guys can... Uh, check that out i'll try to put the link up here in the in the right hand corner of one of these places here but anyway uh quick update on that <clears throat> um uh, mahindra uh paid for the entire uh maintenance for it and the and the rebuilding of the deck um as you know the deck blew apart twice um here to find out that uh this kind of mower deck is uh, is a floating mower deck, not a uh, ground following mower deck. So stay tuned and stick around, and uh, we'll talk more about that, how to uh, correctly adjust this uh, mower deck and <clears throat> uh, what and how to use it. And uh, granted, it's uh, November 8th, I believe it is. So... Uh, I did mow in it with it when I got back. Uh, I don't know if you can see around me. I mowed this small area, but I'll uh, mow a small area over there just to show you uh, the mower deck in action. So stick around with us. All right, guys. Uh, this is uh, just a quick, quick guide on how to uh, adjust and set your mower deck on the Mahindra Emax 20S. This is the uh, M or 50M mower deck uh, that comes with it, what well, doesn't come with the tractor that's optional to buy with the tractor. Um, you can get a 40 inch one and a 50 inch one. Um, now, disclaimer I am not a professional <laughs> uh, and I do not work for Mahindra, but if they'd like to send me some stuff, it'd be great. Uh, on the uh, the mower deck itself you want the deck set so that the these wheels aren't actually touching the ground uh, preferably a uh, half inch to, t to uh, one inch off the ground so um, <clears throat> when when you set the mower deck up to cut you don't want the wheels on the ground because what will happen is, is that will cause tension and it will mess up the undercarriage that carries the uh, mower deck itself. Um, I've seen in some videos, I can't remember who it was, uh, they bought the mower deck and uh, assembled it themselves and mowed with it. And I noticed that they were doing the same thing as 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 I was in the beginning, because I wasn't shown the proper operation, uh, which eventually I was shown uh, by the dealer that I took it to to get uh, repaired. <clears throat> um, again, you know, make sure you check the owner's manual uh, and the operation procedures in there, um, and uh, just follow their instructions on how to. Uh, uh, adjust the deck so um, the deck is on <clears throat> this is a deck where you can drive up and over to put it on I haven't tried that yet normally I lift the front of the tractor up with the loader and then slide the deck in which is I'm getting to be an old man and it's getting hard um, so as you can see the mower deck is up and in previous videos, I think it was my six months review, I reached out to you guys to find out why my mower deck wasn't coming up all the way. It would only come up to, got half of that, if not was closer to the ground. Uh, now that it is adjusted correctly, um, this is the correct way that it should look uh, when it's not in operation and under the belly of the tractor. So I'm going to go over here and lower the deck so you can see. The 
the wheels the ones in the front are touching a little bit but i can adjust that but you want your wheels to be kind of free spinning on here these are on here so you don't uh uh, to protect the mower from hitting high spots so you don't scalp the yard or anything like that. There's four wheels, and then there's a wheel in the front in between uh, where you hook the tractor or the front uh, bracket that holds the front of the mower deck. <clears throat> and you make sure you have those adjusted right too. Now, you can adjust the wheels on it. Um, you can go up or down on it, but I recommend that you, if you do that, to make sure that you don't have these on the ground. Because as you turn, those wheels do not pivot on the, uh, the bigger tractors that have the, the uh, ground following uh, mower decks. These are a floating mower deck. They're stationary, uh, and they're meant to follow the tractor, not the ground. Um, <clears throat> there's also an adjustment here uh, for your uh, fine tuning adjustments to mow uh, you can go ahead and preset that and then adjust it as needed so let's uh, uh, um, get her started up I know it's November 8th but I, I didn't have the tractor for three months um, because of parts issue uh, getting parts which is not the dealer's fault and it's not Mahindra's fault. It's just the way things are now that uh, ever since COVID and stuff like that But that's another issue. So oh, I do want to give a shout out to Cameron the area salesman for uh, Mahindra in this area um, I Thank you so much for your help and uh, sticking by your equipment um, Again, I love my tractor I love everything that it can do, um, but we, uh, like I said, I wasn't uh, um, properly instructed on how to use and correctly do the mower deck. So let's get her started up, and uh, again, always follow your uh, manufacturer's operating manual. It also has a parts guide in here. Uh, it's got maintenance in here. On when to do maintenance, how to do the maintenance, um, and how to take care of your mower deck. Um, again, I apologize. She's dirty. Uh, she's been gone for a while, um, but I will. Uh, I'll get her cleaned up and give a shout out to Dave at uh, RCAF uh, Polar Express. If I said that wrong, I apologize. I'll put the right one in captions in the video. So, uh, Dave, I got the tractor back. And again, I love your videos that you guys put out that you you guys that you put out on YouTube on uh, maintenance and other stuff that you uh, have uh, done to your tractor to uh, help with operations. Uh, well, so let's get her started up, and we'll do some mowing, and I'll show you uh, pictures of the mower deck in action. I try to do a quick walk around, make sure everything's in its place where it should be. Um, what you should do before you operate your tractor is to, uh, you know, walk it, walk around, take a good look, make sure you you don't have any parts falling off or anything like that. So, uh, all right, here we go.
that's it guys that's how it should look uh you know i was on a little bit of a slope there on this part of my property the one wheels were kind of closer to the ground but uh if you've noticed that the wheels weren't actually touching the ground they were actually touching the grass um again those are for scalping purposes they'll raise the if you go over a high spot uh, it'll push the deck up so it doesn't scalp the yard or you do damage to the mower deck itself so i hope you enjoyed this video you guys i know it's short we haven't had one out <coughs> in a while um uh, make sure you subscribe uh, and uh, to the new subscribers. Uh, I appreciate everything you guys have done for us helping our channel out. Uh, eventually, we're going to get some merch out. Uh, try to get some stickers and stuff like that. Uh, there will be some more videos coming. We uh, got the pigs done, uh, processed, and the freezer's uh, full. And uh, we're done with uh, processing meat for the year, being that winter's coming. Mrs. Jack still has uh, canning to do, tomatoes that we've had frozen. So uh, remember, be kind to one another, and uh, God bless. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The bell notification in the uh, lower right-hand corner, will, uh, if you feel free to hit that, that'll notify you when we have new videos coming up. And again, like I said before, I'm not uh, a professional <laughs> movie maker or anything. It is This is how it is. We use our phones. Uh, I just bought a mic uh, to help with uh, the audio part of it. They seems to be working. I promised you guys an unboxing on that. That'll be coming. I, I actually have two. Um, so uh, the next... Uh, adventures to come up is going to be uh maple syrup guys uh pretty soon we'll be doing maple syrup i'm still setting up for that cutting wood uh getting that set up and all that good stuff so again be kind to one another we need it today we need it today very much so and uh we'll see you on the next uh video okay thumbs up thank you mahindra Thank you, uh, Glenn Motorsports, or Gleason's Motorsports down in Halstead, Pennsylvania. I'll put their information up here uh, for you who are in our area, in the northeast Pennsylvania area, uh, to check them out. Very nice, very well-rounded people. Um, awesome customer service. And, uh, again, like I said, that's what buys me, customer service and standing by your equipment. Uh, it's not, you know you know you know what i'm saying so anyway have a good day guys and we'll talk at you later